in case you haven't known already, Phasmophobia had just received a new sort of difficulty update, which is about five days ago. But I just wanted to figure out what new would Phasmophobia receive over the more few more months or even years. Well, that's what we're going to explore today on this thing called a Trillo board. So this is basically a little list of things that can be in for more updates for Phasmophobia and today we'll go over what's in for right now. And of course I did already make a video called If Phasmophobia Has Gotten Harder so make sure you do check that out if you hadn't. I'll just assume you didn't. But uh, yeah, let's do it. So first, now let's go, let's do the first topic which is backlog. So first is make an apartment building. I'm not sure what size that would be, if that could be like, either like a large, or like a medium, or however. I'm, like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, any, I wonder how big apartment buildings are meant to be. Let me just figure that out real quick. Okay, so apparently, um, so it says about 882 square feet in the U.S., which I'm not aware about other countries, so we'll focus on the next one. A mansion level. That one's definitely gonna be a large size. Like, it could be, like, as big as, like, like, you know, this side them. Of course, I sort of thought Asylum was sort of like an, a or sort of like hotel, but it sort of meant like a mental hospital or something. That's kind of what I meant. And then we got another small house level. And it says in parentheses, Tanglewood size. I'm just, I'm gonna just see what other ones they have. Okay, so that's some stuff they've written. I wonder if I can try to make a comment on this. Okay, I don't know how, but I just formed this account, just trust me. This account was just formed today, just, just trust me. Anyway add weekly challenges. So there are daily challenges as far as you know when you play Phasmophobia. But I'm not sure if he means like of course there are also um uh, monthly or uh you know weekly challenges aside from daily challenges. Of course I'm not sure where that will appear exactly, but uh you know that can appear. I mean you know, considering we got some uh, considering we got a lot of these bug fixes, this would be okay. Just hope so. But, uh, yeah, that's sort of what we're expecting for uh, weekly challenges. Make weather a random chance for all the maps. Of course, I'm not expecting weather to really occur on Asylum since there's no um, outdoors in the outside of the van. Since, you know, in the asylum, the van is parked right at the door. <laughs> Which is kind of weird. Next, improve the readability and usability of the journal. I'm not sure what they mean by that. If they mean, like, um... Like... Let's see. I need to figure out how to comment on this. Yeah, I didn't figure out, but, uh... Well, that, yeah, that's, that's there. More equipment for... Yeah, usability of the journal, which I'm not sure how that is. Next, add more equipment to the equipment list. That's a good idea. I just thought that's a good idea. <clears throat> so, I'm not sure what they mean by more equipment. If they mean, like... Like, if they mean... Okay, so what's this? Night vision goggles, MEL meter. Oh, that's a good one. I would actually want that one. And then an SLS camera. So six figures or a camera. I'm not sure what you mean by stick figures, though, but the MEL, that's good. And then night vision goggles show ghost orbs, limited visibility. Night vision is kind of powerful as well. 
Of course, not as powerful as the uh, MEL. That's what I wanted to see. REM bear, toy bear that plays sounds if a ghost interacts with it. I'm not sure where you would even find that though. If that, or of course, I'm not sure how you're even meant to use that, but assuming it has like a battery in you, you're meant to change. Anyway, we got the REM pod, a different kind of motion detector. So it's supposed to be like a motion sensor, but like lower range, but you can't use it for uh, the objective. I'm not sure what that means. And then the OVLS. Not the exact copy. Similar to Spirit Box. I'm not sure what the exact difference is, but I'm gonna go for the MEL meter. Oh crap, I can't click it. Damn it, I can't click it. I can put yeah, I would definitely want to see the MEL meter. That's exactly Okay. Anyway, add distant screens for outside and things things in the windows for other houses. I am so I'm also not aware on this one, aside from the uh journal one. Make plates and glass smashes to peace. Court. Well, that sort of is possible, mainly for like, I don't know, VR, where you can just, you know, throw the, uh, uh, you can, like, throw a plate and then it breaks in pieces. Of course, that seems like a good idea. Sanic ghost shadows on windows with chance spawn based on sanity. I'm not sure what that means, but that sort of looks like a good idea for, uh, you know, Tension or something. Add support for leg tracking with five trackers. Though, I wouldn't necessarily want to see that because I mainly use the Rift S for VR. Of course, if you saw my VR videos, you'll know that. And of course, I don't use five, I'd rather use the Rift S. Because, you know, it's better than five in, in certain ways. Anyway, add ghost voices for when the ghost is hunting. This is sort of one I kind of wanted, though of course I'm not sure what exactly it would want to sound like. Like, like it would sound similar to, um, like it could sound similar to Nihilus from Half-Life slash Black Mesa. So of course I'm not aware on that, but of course we'll figure it out eventually. But uh, yeah, that's what we got. Okay, I'm back because my cam froze for some odd reason, I don't know how. Anyway, swap for SteamVR to OpenXR to allow support for more VR platforms. So, does that mean like, um... So like, does it mean you would like... I'm not sure that would mean. I don't even know what OpenXR is, let's research that. Let's research what that is. Okay, so let's uh figure out. Actually, that's that. Well, that's a story for another day. I, I'll research that later. Just trust me. But yeah, those are the backlog development goal audio. Okay, that's that's great. It's audio. And right now for to do. So, of course, you probably couldn't see most of the backlog just my webcam distracting. That doesn't matter. At least I uh. You know, tried. Anyway, add long term tracking stats. I'm not sure what you mean by that. I'm not really aware of that either. Oh, these comments seem to be excited. It's like all these comments. It's just amazing. Anyway, add a single player button that does not connect the server. Only connecting server when clicking lobby player button. Change play for multiplayer. Uh, okay, so if you like, if you like playing solo, that can work, although you can just, like, like, you can easily just do a private game and just ready up for right now, but I guess a single player does work, if I know well. <laughs> or another thing I would kind of think about seeing, sort of like, those adjusting certain number of players. Like, uh, I, you know, I kind of think about seeing that, I think. 
But anyway, what's the next one? Um, add new level s system that scales the EXP for level. <laughs> that one seems okay, since, you know, if you reach, like, level 15, then the last thing you unlock is professional difficulty. And you only get 100, and then each level you only have to get 100 EXP, and that's it. You move on to the next one, which is why you can see people at, like, level, like, 500 or something. Add a journal to the main menu. I'm not sure what that means, like, like, is it pressing J for a journal and getting, like, and seeing the previous photos or something? I really don't know about that, but, uh, that seems like a good change. <laughs> anyway, add a VR scroll option for selecting pre made controller rotations. I haven't really figured out control rotations, so that's not really gonna. So that's not really very ideal. Okay, we got a. Okay, I'm not sure about. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Anyway, we uh, what do we do now? Um. Add a VR option during the snap turning to teleport local motion fade. Uh, I'm not sure about that either. But, um, you know, that, I mean, I'm not sure that's really gonna be a good change or not, but, uh, that might help. Next, make the ghost have a chance to throw objects toward the player. Okay, so if it's like a, um, of course, this would be extremely fast. Of course, the object would go very fast if it's an Oni. And some um, again, the this of course was um, where is it? This change right here. So this change I highlighted, you can clearly see the Onis can now throw objects very quick, as the journal is saying. So technically, they're correct on that. X, what do we have? Um, let's see. Add localization to house map room names. <coughs> I'm not sure what localization is. I haven't researched that, but I'll research it and then I'll put info in the pinned comment. But, of course, that don't matter. Next, add a language server room filter. What are room filters? I wanna get research on any of. I wanna get research on both of these. I'll, I'll figure it out. So, localization is apparently the process of making someone local in character or restricting to a particular place. That makes sense. And then, let's figure out the other one. What's the. What is it? Let's see. Uh, room filter. Okay, let's see about that. I didn't really wanna research that, but, uh. Oh, I don't know, those are just air brushers. But, uh, yeah, we got that. Get research there. And color settings for the cursor. Of course, you guys probably cannot see, but, uh, of course, can't see my cursor, but you get the idea. Add more B haptic feedback patterns. What's B haptic? I want to see. It's it, like, um, like, like something like this. Of course, I do not have one of these, but I, that's just my theory. Next, add an option to increase the photo resolution. Whatever that means, I'm not sure how that works, but although, although in the last live branch change, there was a thing where the, um, the photo's resolution was lowered. For, to help against lag. Which I think helped, I guess. Well, not sure. Anyway. Add more accessibility options. Higher contrast text. I'm not sure what that does. Change the equipment list. Just to scroll so the text doesn't get smaller. And then activity monitor red lighting is hard to see. Okay, I'm not sure about how that works, but that might help. Assuming all those options work for, uh, you know, colorblinded people. 
Anyway, at a mute indicator for VR. So, like, you can't tell if you're muted or something? I'm not sure. Though, again, I don't typically play the game in VR. And, of course, I still would just play the Rift S anyway. At a sell button for items in the store. So, like, if you have excess items that you don't even need. Also, why would you necessarily want that change? You would still need some stuff in case you, you know, die. Add a bad word filter for usernames and room names. That one's kind of pointless too. Of course, those two they're kind of pointless. Of course, you can't see my mouse because I disabled that from Bandicam. I feel like an idiot now for doing that. Anyway, change lighting on all house maps. So what do you mean? Like um, this is graphics as well. So blue is graphics. What's the uh black? VR specific. Okay, that's nice. So we got all. So we got that and uh, change lighting on our house maps. So I'm not sure how that would work. I I may have to research that a bit more. Cause you know though, that cause you know that might seem different. At a credits page. God, these people. These people don't know how to place the description. Wait, I'm not sure what they're doing. Anyway, make the parabolic make sure the distance of the loudest sound. That seems good, actually. Like, you know, paramic for, um... Like, in, like, asylum or something. Since the range for it is only 30 meters. Or before, it was, like, 10 meters or something. But of course, they do end up. Of course, they do sort of have pretty long ranges now. Of course, in the uh, balance change update. But of course, even with that, they still end up not being as practical as you might think. So maybe if you have a distance for loudest sound, like, you know, a thing for like, a, you know, feet or meters, I'm not sure if you're able to change that, but sort of makes sense if you can use that. Next, the toggle option for sprint. So if there's a toggle for crouching, which is C in, in Phasmophobia, it's not control. Like other games like Half-Life or something. So, because you mainly want to put your sprint on shift. That, that seems good. So there are some known bugs as well. Like, voice recognition stop working if you tab out. I'm not sure how tabbing out works, so it may not have happened. This may not have happened to me. Anyway, inventory list gets added twice if you rejoin. I'm not sure what that means. What's that I want? It seems weird. CCTV monitor freezes if you grab a camera. What the hell? I mean, that seems like a bad one, I guess. <laughs> the hunt sometimes ends too quickly. Like, what I mean, like... Like, of course, for a uh, hunt lasting above, uh... Or, like, below 60 seconds on, like... Professional or something? I wonder... I wonder what that would mean. Of course, I don't know where my, uh... Oh, wait, there it is. Guidebook. So, of course, if you know... Of course, if you don't know, hunts are meant to last about 60 seconds on professional. So, as far as you know. So, uh, yeah, that makes sense. So, Yokai is apparently a ghost, phantom, or strange apparition. Or a class of supernatural monsters and spirits in Japanese folklore. That makes sense. It's the Indonesian word for ghosts. That is strange enough in itself. New daily challenges, add a way to reset the file if it gets corrupt, and yeah, that's, there's a lot more stuff to f cover. Of course, I didn't cover everything since that would be too much time for you guys. But uh, yeah, those are some Trello board changes that might be upcoming for Phasmophobia. And that I have hope for in the future. So of course, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. 
and then ring the bell so you get notified about your videos and yeah, you get the ideas.